Hello everyone and welcome back to Nine Nails Garage. Today we're going to be painting the door jams on the truck and we're going to be painting the uh, the whole outside here. We're going to paint the hood, fenders, doors. But we do have the entire truck sanded down to 400 grit. We've got the door jams all scuffed up and everything is ready to go. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and mask everything off, get it all ready, and uh, then we'll inflate our paint booth outside and we'll drive the truck in and get it all painted. Let's go ahead and get right to work. So we got everything on the truck about masked off to where we want it without uh, bringing it in the spray booth and still being able to drive it. So now we're going to go ahead and inflate our inflatable spray booth, aka bounce house, and uh, we'll get everything set up, final mask, and then we're going to spray our sealer, base coat, and clear coat. Let's go ahead and set up our giant bounce house. So it is actually the next day after we tried to paint the truck and we had a few issues yesterday. One, the camera wasn't working, so I'm sorry, but I didn't get any of it on footage. Uh, I think I got rolling the truck into the spray booth and then I think we stopped there. But we got everything all sealed up, that worked good. We got all of our base coat on, that came out well. Um, and everything was looking really good. Waited about 45 minutes for everything to flash off and uh, then we went to shoot the clear and that's where we had problems. So I checked the weather forecast and we were supposed to be good until like 10 a.m. the next day. I stayed up to about 2 a.m. and we had a freak rain cloud come through. So I was able to get the door jams all clear coated and they came out really good. We got a few issues here. I don't know if you can see them on camera or not, but we had uh, water leaking from the inside of the paint booth. So. The water leaked down over there, it leaked down on the passenger rear door, and kind of messed up the door jam. Um, the driver's side came out really good, and the front passenger as well. But, when we were shooting on the hood, you can see we got a bug stuck in there. Uh, there's a few bugs stuck in the paint, and I'm not sure if you can really see, but there's some marks from where the water was dripping on the hood right after I started shooting it. So my wife helped me out, we scrambled right away, we got the truck out of the booth, we got it in here, but in the process, that's where the bugs came in, and uh, you know, the bugs were swarming around the uh, the paint booth pretty bad out there, because it was all lit up inside, and they just wanted in. But the doors, they still look okay, and I'm still pretty happy with them. And we didn't have complete failure, so, it could have been a lot worse. We could have had, you know, the whole truck clear coated and had this across the entire truck. So I'm really glad that didn't happen. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go through the truck. We're going to remove all the masking because it does have dust all over it now. So I don't want to reuse it. I want to put new masking on it. And uh, before we do that, we're going to pull the old stuff off and we're going to scuff everything back up. By the time I repaint the truck again, it's going to be longer than 24 hours. 
So we want the, uh, the base coat to have a good surface for A, we're gonna have to put base coat over everything again and uh, just a light coat and then we'll have to put our clear coat over the top of everything. Like I said, it's not the end of the world. We'll make it happen, but we're gonna have to wait until next weekend because it is raining outside and it will be for the next few days. So now we're gonna get started. We're gonna remove all the masking from the truck. We're gonna get it prepped again for paint next weekend. And we're also going to, uh, we're gonna try to paint the door handles today. So we should be able to do that in the shop here. I'll open up the door and uh, turn the fan on so it should blow all the fumes out. But I do want to get these handles painted up. Got to take them apart, got to scuff them up, sand them. No big deal. It should be a good project for uh, the rainy day today. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and get started by scuffing up the door handles. handles prepped, primed, painted, and clear coated. We put uh, about two coats of base on with two coats of clear coat and they look amazing. I am super happy with the way they came out. Nice and flat. We got all the, uh, the rough plastic smoothed out the sandpaper. I also did the gas lids too. We had two of them, one from each bed. So I figured I might have some issues with some bugs just like I do here. So that's why I did both of them. Um, and turns out we got bugs in both of them. So we're gonna end up repainting uh, probably both of them and uh, we'll see which one turns out better but all the door handles turned out absolutely awesome I'm super happy with it I think we got a run on one of them right there you can see but that is gonna be a passenger side door handle and that's gonna be on the bottom side so you aren't even gonna notice that but they came out really good nice and smooth you can see we got more bugs in there but I'm just super happy that the door handles came out awesome because those are a lot harder to get to and take off and remove and paint and everything than the uh, gas cap. Super happy with that, the way those came out. Now we're gonna get back to sanding the truck, getting it prepped again for paint, and hopefully we can get some better weather this time and get some clear cut on that truck without having any issues this time. So we're gonna look for a lot better weather, hopefully sunny day, it's gonna be hot as heck, but it's gonna allow the clear coat to uh, smooth out nicely. But we'll shoot for no rain and we can definitely go from there, make it happen, make it work, and uh, get this truck all wrapped up. I'm gonna call it quits for today though, so uh, next time I'll see you, hopefully it'll be a bright and sunny day and we'll get that truck painted. So it is actually a few days later and a uh, little change of planes. We ended up uh, getting the roof all sanded down on the truck. We got everything masked off and we're actually gonna start with the roof. So we're gonna get that all painted first. We're gonna get the clear coat on it and then we're gonna go ahead and move to the rest of the truck. So hopefully we can get this done tonight. We won't have any rain problems. Uh, we got sunny sky, blue sky, and then we'll mask off the rest of the truck and get that all prepped for paint as well. I also went ahead and sanded down one of the gas caps that didn't come out and uh, we got that all sanded down and ready to go as well. So we are gonna get that painted and hopefully it turns out a lot better with no bugs in it. Um, but for now, we are gonna go ahead and mix up our sealer, get it all ready to go. So then we'll go ahead and spray some sealer on the roof and the gas cap and then we'll go from there.
to it is actually a few days later and we've got our inflatable spray booth up we've got the truck all sanded down all the clear cut that was messed up on the hood the side of the truck and we've got it in here all masked off it's been tack cloth wiped down with solvent and it is ready to go the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get in there and we're going to touch up all the uh the spots that i sanded through to the sealer trying to get the clear coat off the hood and the fender back here um there's a few spots in the door jam and a few other spots that i noticed so we're going to touch those spots up with a little bit of blue and then we're going to do one whole coat of blue on everything after that we'll put two coats of clear on it so i'm not in there right now because that dang thing is a sweat box it has got to be i think it's 90 degrees out today and this thing is just like a dang greenhouse so i'm trying to minimize the time in there and not sweat all over the truck while i'm working on it and hopefully we get a paint job that comes out looking good so let's go ahead and get to it So it is the next day, and here is the truck behind me. It is completely painted, completely finished, has two coats of clear, about three coats of base, and it looks awesome. I just got done uh, buffing and wet sanding this side over here, and it looks amazing. I'm so happy with the way everything came out, and it just looks really good. Can't even see that cab corner where it was cropped in there, and it just looks really good. The door jams came out pretty good as well. Um, this tape, I'm not really sure what to think of it. Some of it kind of peeled up while we're painting, but uh, we'll just have to buff that a little bit with our little uh, little buffing wheel, and we'll get the door jams all cleaned up. The hood came out awesome. 
and I'm just really happy with everything. So that is going to be about all for today's video, but do stay tuned because in the next video we're going to be putting the truck back together, put the door handles on it, the interior, windows, all that good stuff, wheel wells, bed, and we've got some awesome bumpers from Rough Country that we're going to be painting, doing a custom job, and they're going to be awesome. So stay tuned for that. Now we'll go ahead, we'll pull the truck outside, and we'll take some shots of it in the sunlight. 